very exciting day here at Beko Towers because I have a job. Another vacuum cleaner, the lady did say it's blocked up with pine needles, I can't fix it. So, might be 20 quid in it. Yeah, have a look. What she brought round. Let's have a look. Get it fixed really, really quickly and have a play with the Dyson Animal 2. Ooh. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? I have in my hands the newest Dyson I have ever, ever had. These are still being sold today. They are the current model. They have the weird tool set. That's horrible. That, look. Ugh. That, that, so that's all that is, isn't it? That's just a clip that sits there. God, just as bad as the DC-40. Clip that sits there. Eh. Whatever, because that's got the exciting bit. The exciting bit is this wand. Ooh, which does that, so that's a bit easier. It's got this bit which I've never had before that's that's not bad did I pull the whole thing back but that's all right actually that's quite clever Ooh, look at how tidy that suction channel is oh my gosh that is useless it isn't blocked though because you can see right through look but oh wow, that is that is absolutely tiny. Look at that, I can't you can't even see through it. Wow, not a massive fan of that, I have to say, although that's quite good. I can see that being handy. It does just pull back quite a lot. What do we have here? Well oh, that we'll do that in a second. We'll have the bit off which is a standard fare apart from the dirt entry is now at the top which is good we have a UP24 in usual Dyson disgusting condition oh <laughs> let's push the button to release it this is the newer dual action tool that's very nice that crevice tool is the perfect length and you can take that off so yeah that is that's bigger than the flipping wand that's a much nicer tool I, I, I do always like these tools on Dyson that, that, that works so well for just nibbling away at stuff do like that in fact it's already spewing out stuff for me oh, we have the upholstery tool, I imagine that's quite nice. Again, dice ones usually are. Ah, Marvellous. But I think we best quickly work out why it's vomiting pine needles all over the carpet. Because if I move this back, it's all covered in them. So there is definitely something amiss. So if we turn it over, we climb it back. There it is, look. All in there. Right. The little internal hose is completely and utterly clogged. So, let's unclog it. To do that, we shall hopefully just put this on there and suck it all through. <laughs> Ugh. 
There we go, with a slight pull on the internal hose. That is sorted. Marvellous. Oh, this is exciting. While we're down here, we'll have a look at this head. I've never had a head like this before. I can see it's disgusting already. This is huge. This is you know how big my hands are that is i can't even get my hands around it that is huge i do spy a button oh that's a good idea i like that Crikey. oh look at that wow take a photo for the thumbnail here. Oh, look at that. So that's interesting. This works. Actually quite like a Panasonic icon because it's only that little end bit that turns yet the whole brush roll, whole brush roll's hollow. It doesn't actually come off that end cap so I'd imagine the end cap and this are all one unit. That is terrible. This thing won't be that old either. Vikey. Right, let's get the vacuum out. <laughs> Something I just noticed is as nice and stiff as these bristles are, they are holding on to the fluff quite a bit. You can tell it there, look, it, it comes out quite easily. <laughs> go so user serviceability wise that's not horrific actually that's perfectly fine this must be what the ERP is that is look ah on the older Dyson models the slider dropped the sort of blue rubbery front down which is what clamped it down and made it a pass the EU test and b obviously clamped down this has the gaps and as soon as you push that down it blocks them up also seems to do it if you put it into the minus which does seem a little bit strange and I'm not gonna take it all apart because these can be a right faff it took me a good few goes to get the 40 and 41 ERP type head done I'm not taking this apart now but that's a bit odd how on minus unless it opens a valve somewhere doesn't seem to be. Oh well, anyway, that is the head sorted. This is now on top. Let's have a quick look at the post filter. It already looks to be a little bit washable. Which is interesting. Oh wow. Look at that. Well, oh dear, oh dear. Actually, no. Oh good, oh good. I suddenly like this. Yes, it's covered in fluff. No, I don't know what the history of this machine is, but I like the fact that it covers that internal filter up. Because that would have been buried right deep down in that paper. Whereas now it's not, it's sat on the top. And the more I look at this like this, it's basically just probably more DC 75 than DC 41. But it does seem to just be a facelift of an existing machine. Let's tidy all this up. The 
few cow bosses. Look, hence all the tap signs on there. I don't know. Oh, wow. Hang on a second. It's mightily annoying that that's not going to be off any easier. The outer bit's unclipped, it's the inner bit that's got three clips still sat. So maybe, ah, maybe it's, oh gosh, I don't want to rip the paper filter. Okay, no, I think it's two parts washable. Because this is now just a normal bog standard pleated paper HEPA filter. This is a washable external cage, which actually I'm in two minds. It, uh, oh God. Is it because these kick out more dirt? I mean, it's not terrible, I'll be honest. So it's not kicking out too much, but obviously that inner foam ring pad was dirty. Have they just manufactured a cover so you can wash it and think that you've washed this when it is utterly, utterly minging? Or is it just there because why not? I don't actually know. If anybody knows, please do comment. Because you know me, I make stuff up as I go along and hope it's about right. Oh, now we've got to note the orientation, which I possibly should have done before. There we go. No, there we don't go. The tabs have to line up, don't they? Oh, gosh. So you've got to line up all three tabs with the little notches. Aha! Like so. And that is the post motor filter serviced. Marvellous. That's just a bog standard wheel with red bits, so you could probably facelift. Again, I'm going to say DT75 because I think it's more of a 75 than a 40. But you could facelift very easily. I, I haven't got one to hand. I would be. So, so not surprised if the bin fitted as well. This is just a flipping facelift. Right, that's that on there. Now, now you've got to take a screw out to get to the blockage release. And of course it has to be a cross head, doesn't it? When we have bucketfuls of Torx heads flying around. It's not a captive screw, so it comes out. Okay, now how does this remove itself from... Ah, there we go, you've got to recline the machine. It's a terribly friendly user serviceable blockage removal port is it but we can go in there and we can check that all of our hoses are free I can reckon that there's free as well so that's fine we'll give this a bit of a wipe down to make it look lovely there we go then we'll put it back on working out how the heck we do that because there's a little notch well bit of plastic there look This isn't lovely. Oh, there we go. That's not too bad. I'll stop me moaning. That's actually gone straight back in. There we go. So now we can put the wheels down. And we won't put the bin on yet. We'll stick the brush head on. Then we'll put all the tools back on because they don't seem to be able to stay connected for more than five seconds. We'll stick the comical bond on. We'll put the hose onto the bond. Oh gosh, how does this work? Ah. Oh, 
problems. I didn't see how the... Ah, there we go. Okay. And that goes on like that. That's very stiff. That's not bad. That's very robust. Oh, right. So we're done with that part for now. Let's have a quick look at this. Which I would imagine needs... Oh, Christ. A filter clean, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Not as bad as some of them. It doesn't have an internal cage either, that is it. That top part literally just clips off of there. <laughs> Watch that in a sec, but I want to have a play first, so we'll stick it back in. There we go. Give that a bit wipe out, we shall empty it. Oh, pick some of it up before it clogged itself. Look, look at that. There we go, yeah, that is just a, a bog standard Dyson DC 41 type bin. Nothing that special about that. I also wasn't that bad either. So, what we have, I'm not going to wipe this out yet, is lots of dirt. What I propose we do is clean it up. Here we go then, my first ever time of turning one of these on. Quite quiet. That's nice. Oh, wow. That's incredible. It has just left the deepest track mark in this carpet. That, oh, that really becomes quite difficult to push when it's on that. It's a very heavy machine. Ah, this is an incredibly heavy old thing. There is nothing lightweight and nimble about this. But wow, it works so, so well. That really is quite a set of quick test. Of the tool suction, that is superb as well. Wow. I am very, very surprisingly impressed by this just a quick intermission before we carry on with the more fun part of this video the filter is dry it is three days later actually because I didn't get to the office yesterday so I didn't get to be mum's so you just snap the top on nice and clean take off the cyclone pop the little tab Put the lovely wash filter in. That's a bit interesting. You don't just push down the handle. If you push down the handle, it doesn't clip that clip under there. Look, you've got to actually then push down a second time. So that's something to watch out for because you'll then pick the machine up and. 
So, we could use it. Let's go back to when I mentioned about the agitation. See if I can show you it. We have some rice. Yes, I have another arsenal to my toolbox. And if I draw a line-ish there, this side, we're going to leave the machine on the sort of middle normal setting. On this side, I'll stick it on max and we'll see what the difference is. So, here we go. A clean sweep, although there wasn't much agitation that I noticed. I, I noticed it with the pine needles, this isn't showing it up as much. But it picked it all up, didn't snow plow, it's actually cleaned the machine quite a lot. The, the, the bin, which you can't see, is a lot cleaner than it was, so it's, this, this might actually be quite handy to do. Right, so we'll stick it into Max, which obviously drops the two red firewalls, I suppose, and we'll start with this bit. And I'm a little bit interested to see if it's going to slow plough with the two, what were, three channels now blocked. So move you back a bit. If I, yeah, if I just bring this up a little bit so there's a, you know, it stops. It did snow plough a little bit, but my gosh, does it groom the carpet magnificently. So, pros and cons for both. I can see why Dyson fill their literature with obviously, you know, normal cleaning and then the, you know, weekly deep clean. No idea what this minus bit does. If you can comment and tell me, because it just seems to lower the firewall anyway. But enough with picking up rice and other fun stuff. How does it actually clean? So I emptied it. This is in Max. Let's clean the landing. Just from that small area, which is quite regularly vacuumed anyway. I'll just release this without dropping it everywhere. We have a fair amount, actually, of very fine grit. Look at that. That is, that is just sand. That's quite impressive. I'm going to have to drop this out now, because otherwise I'll never get the thing back on. Yeah, that is deep down grit, so this is a very effective deep cleaner. It doesn't feel as strong on this carpet because it's more deeper and porous than the carpet of the bedroom. It's not quite as hard to push either.
So I filmed a little bit of that, but I've actually been going for about 10 minutes. Ripped around the whole house and wow. That is about a quarter full. And it's about a quarter full with lots and lots and lots of fluff and a whole load of grit. This is, I will say this now, a very good deep cleaner. Very good deep cleaner indeed. Right, now, we're getting to the stage of the video where I need to now not get this dirty because it needs to be, you know, done up and go back. This is going back to my morning. So I have another vacuum cleaner. Let us clear this up. <laughs> This turbo power 2 hasn't got a belt on it. <sighs> hey ho, right, we'll get the old scabbard tool out. Pop the bit off, apart. See, it pulled loads of red lint out of a big rug downstairs. That was quite impressive. <laughs> Dampen the cloth and give the inside of the bin a good wipe and the outside because it's covered in dust and I shall expand on that in a second. Get all the rubber seals just a little bit. This is actually, this shows how all right this machine was anyway because these seals are just wiping off and when they're at this early stage they do they just wipe clean it's all lovely spray on the cloth not this unless you want to wait for drying time which i suppose we have because it's it's still got all day but i see just a small just a damp cloth wipes all over brings it up a treat so we can fit the bin back to the cyclone and that is much better now when I said elaborate further remember when we wiped down all of this look how I say look how dusty it probably doesn't look too bad for you but there look hang on can I keep that angle whilst I put this down so I can swipe my finger up it yes this still seems to suffer from a bad sealed system so all the HEPA flow HEPA flow HEPA filter that this thing has is rendered pretty useless by the fact that it seems to spew out dust everywhere 
so still not really much change there I suppose let's just quickly double check that this is still half decent give it a wipe down so on certain carpets on the bedroom carpet next door this would not move as it wasn't there's even some grains of sand look under that's underneath <sighs> these are going to be delightful in a few years aren't they yes so there are this was all you couldn't push this on max i also worked out what the minimum does and it opens up and i think they're under here an extra bleed valve so it really does just feel like it's floating on air so you do have low normal and high almost on thicker pile carpets it still didn't really groom very well didn't look like it was doing much you know I, i've had far better results from older vacuum cleaners on the deep pile carpet however on shorter pile carpet oh it's amazing and a fair improvement on this head which again isn't a bad head really you know it's all right but this is better and it's just due to that redesign because obviously this bit the max pops those down on this and it's probably the right angle actually the max pushes this rubber flap down that is all it does up down except this is the head from that one i found by the bins I've wrapped it out of the shed this morning and it would actually, I think, fit on where the whole way it goes on, not completely different. So we, we shall skip that bit. They have redesigned that and made it a lot better. And yeah, I'm quite impressed with this, I'll be honest. The tool holders are pretty rubbish. Not going to lie, this clip made... That's I want to push it in a little bit without obviously snapping it and having to buy a new tool holder but yeah, it doesn't seem to like it stays clips on but then it just comes straight back off again and then you know if you try and take the tools out without properly pushing the button down you're gonna have a hard time this thing got caught many many times again because it literally just sits there you know, you, you, you catch it wrong. You, you, oh, oh. It's not great. And I imagine this is going to be quite a difficult piece to find in the future. Because this is either going to fall off and not going to be bothered to put it back on. Or it's just going to snap. I can see that bit snapping. Especially if you do catch it a few times. But overall, this is the future. For people like me, collectors like me, or just people who have an interest, obviously these are still very, very expensive. I would never, ever spend the money on one new. However, a couple of years time when they're 50, 60 quid, six months or so after that when they're 30, 40, they are going to be very interesting indeed. So they, it cleans amazingly, I'll be honest. It, it, it really is very, very good. It's hard to find, apart from the... You know, build quality issues. You can hear the ball over the sound of the vacuum cleaner. So that's a bit scrapey. It's very quiet, which is a bit of a double-edged sword because I think it's very quiet because of that dual-layered filter. Whether that dual-layer filter is going to work against it and cause it to overheat more if it gets clogged, I cannot tell you right now, it's certainly food for thought and you will struggle with that tiny, I can't even get my finger in it, that tiny, tiny wand there and obviously you can't push it on its back wheels because even if I'm ever so ever so careful you can, if you try to push it properly it's just going to do that. Again though, that's a complaint with this style wheel. It's older than time itself, but for now this well, repair and look at. Because we won't see one of these again for a while, I'll be honest. Unless one gets blocked up, I'm not likely to buy one for scrap anytime soon. So we have killed a couple of birds with one stone. And that's that, really. So, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.